Organizers call it Africa's biggest street party, with culture, music and dance on display. And like most people here, the Abraham family is delighted the fun times are back. The carnival was so interesting and I so loved it to be with my family here. Some 10,000 artists that include musicians, dancers and acrobats are participating in this year's event. There are also 10 cultural groups from outside Nigeria who are making a return to the festival. The Calabar Carnival is back after a two-year disruption caused by COVID-19. For nearly two decades, it's been a destination for thousands of Nigerians and tourists. Every year, local people look forward to the month-long celebrations as a chance to end the year financially better off. Officials say the two-year break has cost the local economy a lot. So for that two years, I can estimate the loss in hundreds of millions of dollars. Because the preparation to the carnival, the visits and all the activities, bringing a lot of money into this country. So for us, it's a huge loss. As the festival returns, Etim's small clothes shop has seen six months' worth of sales in just three weeks. Good. Business is fully back. We are making use sell, and as a result of that, we are able to meet up with Nigerian economy. The number of participants this year may not be as big as the last carnival in 2019, but officials are confident troops from as far away as South America will return next year. But most importantly, there is hope the local economy will see a significant boost in sales and job opportunities. Ahmed Idris, Al Jazeera, Calabar.